But let me, let me just offer some perspective of somebody who's been at this a long time. Um, every other government in the world knows the United States government leaks like a sieve. And it has for a long time. And I, I dragged this up the other day when I was um, looking at some of these prospective releases. And there's a quote from John Adams. How can a government go on publishing all their negotiations with foreign nations? I know not. To me, it appears as dangerous and pernicious as it is novel. When we went to real congressional oversight of intelligence in the mid-'70s, there was a broad view that no other foreign intelligence service would ever share information with us again if we were going to share it all with the Congress. Those fears all proved uh, unfounded. Now, I've heard the impact of these releases on our foreign policy described as, as a meltdown, as, uh, as a game changer, and so on. I think, I think those descriptions are uh, fairly significantly overwrought. Um, the fact is governments deal with the United States because it's in their interest, not because they like us, not because they trust us, and not because they believe we can keep secrets. Many government, some governments deal with us because they fear us, uh, some because they respect us, most because they need us. We are still essentially, as has been said before, the indispensable nation. So other nations will continue to deal with us. They will continue to work with us. We will continue to share sensitive information with one another. Is this, is this embarrassing? Yes. Is it awkward? Yes. Consequences for U.S. foreign policy? I think fairly modest.